Hello. Got an email today asking me how I would go about creating a grind vault and wanted to know how they would join up the roofs. So I've got a finished version right here and it took a few steps. So rather than write a detailed email response back, I thought I would record a video and put it up on the blog and then um, share it with everyone. So uh, let's go ahead and create a brand new file. Now I'm here in Revit 2014, but you ought to be able to do this in really any version of Revit. So here's a brand new project, and uh, to make my job a little bit easier, I'm going to create a few grids. I'll just create a vertical grid right here, and a horizontal grid here, and, and then I will copy this one over about 12 feet. So uh, I'm going to draw a barrel vault roof first on, let's just get these numbered and lettered to keep them straight. So I'll draw it on grid A to start with, and then this will be one and two. So I'm gonna to go to the south elevation, start the roof by extrusion, and when it asks for the work plane, I'll work on grid A. Click OK, I'll uh, place it at level two, that's fine, and I'll draw a half circle starting here and going there. So that's about a 12 foot radius. Let's go ahead and finish that. Just accepting the default roof, not really making any any modifications. When I go to 3D, uh, I'll increase this to about 30 feet. It's not really that important, but uh, just go ahead and give myself enough room to work. So there's the first uh, uh, barrel vault. That was the uh, pretty easy one. Let's go in the west elevation now and create one in the other direction. Now the first time I tried this, I tried to use exactly the same radius and it was unhappy. So uh, what I'm going to do instead here is I'm going to cheat just a little bit. I'm going to change to a circle here first. Uh, I'm going to start right at that midpoint and instead of going to 12 feet exactly, let me go ahead and draw it first and then I'll change it. Uh, I'm going to change this radius to 11 foot and maybe 11.5 inches. So I'm going to make it just a half inch shorter. If you zoom in right there, there's a small gap right there. Um, I found that when I tried to do the next step, it, uh, it was a little unhappy when they were exactly flush with one another. So let's go ahead and finish that. Go to 3D. Now, of course, you can see it's extruded out in the opposite direction here. Um, what I want to do is make a few minor adjustments. So I'm going to go back to level one. I'm going to take grid one here, and I'm just going to move it over uh, about two feet, so 14 feet there. And that kind of bumps that out. Then I'll take this guy, and I'm going to pull the extrusion back like so. Um, it doesn't really matter how much right here, so I'll just sort of leave that because the next step is to use the join roofs command. So I'm going to go to the uh, modify tab right here, and then I will click the join unjoin roof button right there. Now I want to pick this edge, this curved edge that's facing the other roof, and then click anywhere on this curved surface. We'll just do it the traditional way where I'll select it by the edge. And you'll see that that uh, barrel vault will go in and join up with the other one, but of course uh, it's still kind of solid there in the middle. Now I did try to use the dormer uh, and I didn't have much luck with that. So um, interestingly enough, the dormer did find this curved edge in there and drew that just fine. Um, I think what it was unhappy about was how it touched at the very bottom there. So perhaps if you um, add some additional geometry, you might be able to uh, get it to work uh, with the dormer. But uh, for this example, I'm going to do just a quick void form instead. So I'm going to go to the component tool here, do a model in place, and I'll just categorize this as a roof. Click OK. I'm going to call this roof void. And then uh, probably be easier to work if I go to an elevation view. So let's go to the west view. And I'm going to create a void form, a void extrusion, and I'll draw it on grid one. Click OK. Make an arc. Start right at that midpoint. Snap to here, around to here. Then I'm just going to add a little bit more meat to it down here at the bottom with uh, a couple lines here, like so. Make sure it's trimmed up. And then I will finish it, go to 3D, 
you can kind of see that it's just the default thickness here so we'll just make sure that it stretches all the way through the roof then I'm gonna to go to the cut geometry and I'm gonna choose the roof and then the void and you'll see that now that cuts nicely through my roof object click finish model and then um, go to my roof plan which is actually my level 2 floor plan select this roof right here mirror it around this other grid line which is why I used that other grid line before now if you look at 3D you can see that one still needs to be joined so let's join it and there okay and then as a finishing touch to kind of get rid of some of these extra lines right here you can go to join geometry and join that and join geometry again and join that and that completes a pretty convincing looking uh, groin vault now again they don't perfectly touch right here because I had to make it slightly shorter you might want to try and experiment and push it uh, that extra quarter of an inch or three quarters of an inch and just see uh, how close you can get it but my my experiments if it was exactly the same distance um, then the the cut failed so maybe if you're really close without getting over it might work but uh, anyway I hope you found that useful and uh, that's it enjoy thanks